It's gymnastics day! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So yep, yeah, today we are vlogging a gymnastics session. I am actually super sore today, super sore lats, super sore triceps, but we have a bit of a plan in place and I'm going to try and give you guys a little heads up to what I'm doing and why I'm doing and also give you a few little tips and things if you're thinking about wanting to join an adult gymnastics session but you're not too sure how to do that or you're feeling a little bit nervous about it. Don't worry, I've got your back. So yeah, I have got to leave pretty soon. My gymnastics club is in London, so luckily for me, I live close enough that I can drive, so we're gonna head there. But one of the main questions I get a lot when people wanna try adult gymnastics is that they struggle finding somewhere um, to go. So they struggle finding like a gym that offers it or they're not sure where they could potentially um, have a go at adult gymnastics. So the one top tip I always have is you can call around gyms in your local area, adult gymnastics is super popular so you might find that they are running a class, or what you can do is you can go onto the British Gymnastics website, they have a section for adult gymnastics and they actually have like a finder, so you can kind of put in your postcode and you can see where the clubs nearest to you are that run the classes. The mix of open classes and taught classes. The class that I'm going to do today and the class I always do in my other videos is a open gymnastics class. So I'm in control of my own training and stuff. So that's why there's no kind of group warm up or anything. Some gyms, even if it is an open session, do do a group warm up, but the gym that I'm going to today doesn't. So yeah, just to, those just for I've mentioned that at the beginning of this video in case you know, you watch these vlogs and you're like, I want to try that and I want to do it. And you're like, okay, I don't know where to go. Check those out and have a look what's available in your area. Or make, if it's not too close, make a day trip out of it and go with some friends.
thing you are always going to do when you get into a gym is you're going to need to warm yourself up to get ready for some of the skills that you're going to want to do. So as you've seen in my warm up, I did some jogging around the floor, some arm swings, just kind of getting my heart rate up, getting into the blood flowing, getting nice and warm. And then from there, moving into some like single leg hops and things, get the ankles ready because we're going to be doing quite a bit of tumbling today. And then from there, moving into the stretching. I always tend to put some kind of static stretching in my gymnastics warm up because I'm going to need to use splits in the session. But I don't tend to hold them for very long. And today's really strange because I'm not training on my usual training day. Um, so I don't actually know that many people in here. Whereas usually I'm like super chatty with everyone and like super want to get involved in what everybody else is doing. But yeah, don't know too many people today, so even I sometimes still do get like nervous in those sort of situations. But I just tell myself that I, I plan my training, so if you're not 100 sure, always plan your training so you know what you're going to do. Um, I'm trying to do some tumbling right now, and um, double tucks feel good, but I really wanted to do some double pipes, but like mentally I'm just like not there right now. So I don't know whether, I don't want to try it and hurt myself um, or to like, I know I'm totally capable but it's just like mentally. So I don't know whether to not go for them right now and save them from another day when I can like set up a practice and then probably just, I'm just going to move on to some twisting right now. is not quite working out as I planned. That can happen and if it does happen, don't worry about it, don't stress about it. You know, not every session is gonna be a good session, not every time you go walk into the gym, things are gonna go your way. So I did do quite a bit of tumbling, which was good. Moved on to some kind of like a naughty combos, but if I'm honest, my back is really sore, so I kind of pushed those to the side and moved on to the helicopter arrows. I think a good thing to practice and a good habit to get into in your gymnastic sessions is to set yourself reps. So today I was like, we are going to do 20 attempts on the block and then we're going to try some attempts on the floor. So 20 attempts on the block, 10 attempts on the floor and then finish. Because otherwise what can happen is it doesn't go your way, you don't want to continue or you want to keep going, keep going, keep going and then you don't get all the other things you want to get done in your session. So that's something I'm really trying to do right now. So. I moved on from those and kind of headed to the tramp. Really happy actually because finally a double twisting forwards is just such a weird one for me. So I'm really happy to feel like I've kind of committed to that and I've got that round now. And then just moved on to a couple double pike drills onto the mats in the pit. I'm not really sure where that mental block is coming from with that skill, which is kind of a frustrating. Um, so I haven't got too much time left and I'm feeling pretty sore. So I think what I'm going to do now 
is just hit some conditioning, hit some tumble conditioning for the ankles just because the upper body is still quite sore to do any bar conditioning. So we hit some plyo work, some floor conditioning. and we are out what you didn't see in that conditioning was block pushes so essentially what you have to do is you have to do a minute of hops on each leg then you have to do four burpee tuck jumps to land dead and then you have to do one block push to the other side of the floor and one block push to the other side of the floor and then you have to do that three times so if anyone wants to die please enjoy that but um yeah today was one of those sessions it's a training session i think i mentioned this in my last gym vlog but like I can't, I'm not like a, I'm not going in there to perform, like I am genuinely going in there to train and that means sometimes I can't be like just thinking of content that will go well on Instagram or Reels or TikTok, you know, like I want to go in there and I want to get better and I want to train and I genuinely do feel like I did that today, you know, two and a half felt really good, forward twisting felt really good and considering I'm super sore in my upper body and super sore in my back, I don't think I did too bad, so the only thing I missed off in that session was some stretching and you guys know how I feel about stretching so make sure you get those done at the end of your gymnastic sessions but hopefully you can kind of see how and if you've watched a few of my previous vlogs you can start to see how the session is genuinely structured so get in get warm stretch start doing some prep drills, do some landing drills, warm up your ankles, do the skills you can already do, building up to those basics. So my basics are free cartwheels and back somersaults, but your basics might be handstand, handstand forward rolls, cartwheels, etc., etc. Once you've got that far, then you move into your main skills and the main chunk of your session, finish with some conditioning and finish with some stretching. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm very sweaty. I'm excited to go home and shower. But I really hope you guys enjoy the video. I really hope you guys enjoy the gym vlogs. And I'm excited for the next one.